Jess, and I run Jess and Company. And you may be wondering what Jess and Company is. I don't think I've ever done an intro type of video, so I thought I would do that and just kind of help to explain kind of what's going on with Jess and Company and what Jess and Company is. So Jess and Company is the business that I started, and that business is like an umbrella to other facets of things that I do or my family does. Our website is jessandcompany.com. You will find that we are very focused on sustainability. We are focused on ethically sourced and locally sourced as much as possible goods, products. And what we kind of do is bring this whole art and sustainability and fashion and decor and combine all of that together. And so I've written a lot on my blog about different facets of things that are are applicable to this. A lot of it, you know, involves herbalism, it involves running a farm, it involves running a business, it involves how design and nature correlate and how different sustainable practices are occurring. So essentially for me sustainability means using the resources you have as well as ethically sourcing resources and being local. It is being deliberate with your choices, being considerate with your choices, and it doesn't align with methods like fast fashion and mass manufacturing. It is very much a slow fashion thing for me and a slow production thing. And I say slow not because it is slow in the sense of what it is. It is that's what it's called. That is the term. And it is because it is being produced, made, sourced, manufactured, created from hands, people, me, our family. And it is not about using a lot of machinery, outsourcing. It is very much a locally small scale thing. And that is what Justin Company is. It is small scale. It is a design company. It is a fashion company, it is a farm company, and I will go more into those different umbrellas as well. But I just kind of wanted to tell you, hey, this is what Justin Company is. Give you an intro, because I don't think I've ever done that. And um, so anyways, Justin Company is the umbrella business. And under that, we have Just Designed, and just made. Now those are kind of merging to become one and, and each other and that's because the story that is being told by each section there it really talks to each other and by not sharing one side of that you're not getting the whole story. So you will see more and more about how Just Designed and Just Made are kind of merging together and I'm going to stick more with that Just Designed brand because I have more of the brand development of that. So essentially we have Just Designed which is really about designing, um, it's art, there's home decor, fabric designs, there's clothing designs, digital designs. A lot of that is taking digital skills and putting it into products uh, using ethically sourced sustainable practices, methods, and companies and partners that we, we won't work with. So Just Designed is really focused on the design aspect and the digital aspect of that. Just Made has been a lot of the slow fashion, the, the handmade products, and a lot of those are just kind of quirky, fun. Um, I've done adults and I've done children. I've also done home decor. So you will see different sections of home decor, adults, and children. And those each I was trying to keep them separate, but really they tell a, story, tell a story together, especially when I utilize fabrics that I've designed in Just Design in the Just Made products, and that just tells the complete story of that design to print to a garment or to a home decor item. But that's what that tier of our umbrella Just and Company is. Then we also have this other aspect, which is our Beecham Family Farm, BFF for short. You can find us on um, Instagram at thisis.rzoo, 
and on Facebook at Beecham Family Farm. That is all about sustainable farm practices, permaculture in our gardening, and really in raising our livestock and being ethical in our sourcing. So we raise animals for consumption. Uh, we also have a lot of pets as well because we also really love animals. Um, in raising them for consumption, our goal is to utilize every aspect of the animal so as nothing or very little goes to waste. And we practice this across all of Jess and Company. Little goes to waste. Like you can see back here, we've got a lot of yarn for the knitting machine. I've got an old sewing machine. I've got sewing scraps and remnants and different things like that. I utilize all of it so as to produce very little waste. So anyways, back to Beecham Family Farm. We are utilizing every aspect. A huge thing that we've been able to produce and ethically easily sourced is feathers. You will see that we have a lot of feather varieties for sale. And that is because feathers um, on chickens, they naturally molt those feathers. So you don't, you don't have to butcher a chicken or a turkey or, or a bird to get their feathers. They will naturally shed them to grow in new ones. Just like animals like rabbits and dogs and cats, they all shed their fur. Uh, poultry does the same. So you'll see we have a lot of that. And that's because I think they're beautiful and I want to share with them with the world. So we sell a lot of feathers. So we have animals, animals poop, and they create waste in a byproduct. Well, all of that goes back into our ground and into our garden area to fertilize. So it's a natural fertilizer. And then previously we had pigs and the pigs, they worked all the soil and we were able to plant pecan trees and blueberries and a persimmon and a goji berry we were able to easily dig into the soil in an area that really it, it was a very overgrown woods and it needed the soil to be worked a little bit. So after a year of the pigs there, uh, the soil was a lot more workable and it was a healthier environment So for the plants. So again, we practice permaculture, sustainability, a very cyclical process here, and we love and take care of our animals as well. So that's Beach and Family Farm. And all of these, so I create feathers and um, we also create dyes and plant dyes and, and our goal is to also produce plants and dry them for teas. I really love teas, my children love teas and we want to, to make teas and tea blends and provide those. Um, those also go back into the story of Just Design and Just Made because I use all of those, you know, if I dye a product or I have feathers, I utilize those in my just made designs or the just design products. And the goal is to kind of have bundles where you have a tea and a home decor item, something along the line of that. But they all tell a story together. And that's why we have this upper tier of Jess and Company. It's the whole breakdown of everything. And then there's different sectors that have different specialties and focus, but all together they tell this whole story of sustainability and of ethical sourcing and local sourcing, local products, slow fashion, and not create more waste, but utilize things that have been maybe previously seen as waste and be resourceful and cyclical and intentional with our decisions. So that is what Justin Company you will find more details online at jessandcompany.com. You can follow us on Instagram at jess.co on Instagram. You can follow us on Facebook at Jess Company. You can also follow Jess the Farm page if you're only interested in the farm aspect instead of the design and the farm. So I try to tell the whole story in Jess and Company and each little sector has its little personality. So, so think of it like a family unit. You have Justin Company as a whole family, and within that family, you have different characters, different people, different branches. Or if it's a body, it's the whole body, and you have different arms, legs, stuff like that. So, I just wanted to come here and explain and kind of do an intro as well, because I've never done that. 
um, I have this and this and this, and it doesn't really tell a story. Well, I'm here to explain that story for you. So I, I just hope that kind of gives it a little bit more clarity, support, and you continue to encourage. Um, I love comments. I love the likes. I love the shares. Or if you see something you like, just share it. Comment like it. Um, it really, it really does help, and it, it, it does give me a boost that we are moving in the right direction towards what we need to be focusing on, and we're going to to be able to meet our goals and share with the world the way that we want to share, um, one step at a time. Now you have the general intro, so I do hope you stick around and keep, kind of keep an eye on it because we will be releasing more series on the on YouTube about specific topics and stuff, especially over the years as we've developed um, and learned things and stuff like that. You know, now we're at a point where we try out different things and we can kind of provide good input, insight on different topics, at least especially in the farm. When it comes to the sewing and designing, I've been doing that for many years, that I, I guess I do have a lot to share with that as well. So both sides will be seeing that. I am going to be starting a series on sustainable, uh, slow fashion products. I do have a fashion show coming up um, that I am participating in in Knoxville at IAMS. It is the Flourish Fashion Show. It is a sustainable fashion. So you, you reuse, you recycle, you, you are resourceful. Sustainability is an angle. And telling and showing a beautiful, fashionable product. The theme this year is funk versus punk. And I am funk, so I will have a redesigned collection to share in about mid to late April. I plan to document and kind of do the series about that. Um, you will also see we are also doing a lot on our garden and our farm in general. We've, we've done a few exciting new changes, and I plan to also document and show those to you as well as they continue to progress. Uh, once the fashion show, once those designs are done, I'm then going to start another series of, um, I haven't decided quite on a name yet, but it might be something along the line of what can you make with what you have. Because I have gathered quite a bit of materials over the years and I just kind of want to show how you can use these different materials and make something beautiful out of it. Um, so yeah, just kind of follow along, stick around. I hope you like, subscribe, comment. Um, share and enjoy the content so any and all of that above and thanks for taking the time to listen and stick with me i hope you guys have a good day and i will talk to you later